And my goal today is to show you how to add more depth into your pieces through shading. So this is actually two parts. So in this, I'm gonna show you how to add layers into your pieces. And then next week, I'm gonna show you how to actually do that uh, and apply it to a piece uh, and to a picture. The key is to make your pieces look realistic is to start on a low heat, burn, turn up the heat slightly, burn again, and you build layers of burn into your pieces. And that gradual build of layers actually adds more realism and depth into your pieces. And you can actually have that contrast. You know, you have certain places in your piece that is really light and then other places where it's really dark. It's what is called as tonal value. So today in the tonal value, we're just gonna practice that. All right, so grab a scrap piece of wood and then go ahead and just make a long rectangle and section it off into six squares and then number each square from zero to five. And what you'll do is you turn on your, your wood burner, turn it down to a fairly low heat to start and then start burning very light burn on all the squares except zero. Zero stands for wood that is untouched by a burn. What you do is you move before you touch the wood so that you don't make any like scorch marks. And then I'm gonna just do circular motions. I'm actually gonna turn up my heat slightly here. I'm not sure how it's coming across on the video, but all you want is just a, a light burn. You can just see it just ever so slightly. And so go ahead and burn each uh, square on that low heat, on the same heat, burn all five squares. All right, so once you've got a burn on all five squares, turn up your heat slightly, and then burn all the squares again, but don't touch number one. So only burn two through five, and this will be the second layer. Awesome. So once we get the second layer, we turn up the heat again, or maybe even burn it a little slower and leave it the same heat, and then burn it a third time, and just don't do number two. All right, then for the fourth layer, turn up your heat slightly again, and then just don't touch number three and burn number four and five. And then for your last layer, turn up the heat just slightly again and burn number five, and it'll be the fifth layer, and it'll be nice and dark. So there you have it. You went from just building the layers from um, one to five, and you just added an extra layer each subsequent shade. And it actually creates a lot smoother burn into your pieces, makes it a lot more realistic, and this is how you add depth into your piece. I hope today's tip was uh, informative and will help you out to improve your pieces in building those layers. Check out my video next week and I'll actually take this concept and apply it to a picture.